I've just finished watching Twice Upon a Time and I thought it was actually pretty good and it's definitely one of the better Christmas specials. Now for the purposes of this video I'm going to separate Twice Upon a Time into three sections. The good, the bad and the ugly. Starting with the ugly, but let me just define what I mean by ugly. They are things within the episode that I felt were out of place and shouldn't have appeared. And to be honest, there aren't that many. Just the two occasions where original footage from the 10th planet was used. More so the first time it happened, as I felt the face morph was slightly off. The second time it happened wasn't so bad, as it was a straight cut from new to old footage. Next up is the bad. Harking back to my previous comments, using the footage of Hartnell kind of took me out of the story. Don't get me wrong, it was great to see Hartnell again, but if you're going to bring back the first Doctor, I think it would have been better to refilm all Hartnell scenes with David Bradley. In fact, some of them they did, but they should have gone 100% with it, as all I kept thinking later on in the episode was, I wish it was Hartnell instead of Bradley. And that's not to say Bradley did a bad job, he was fantastic. It's just I would have appreciated him more if he was the only First Doctor in the episode. Now I know the First Doctor was old fashioned, but the endless lines of dialogue to make him seem like a misogynist was just too much. By all means have one or two lines, but Moffat should have stopped writing his character through modern eyes. But if I'm honest, I felt it was done just to pad out the episode's runtime. I don't know if I can include my next point as a bad one, because I knew it wasn't going to happen, yet for a split second, I believed it could. But was I the only one who thought we'd get to see Susan one last time, just before Bill entered the scene? Next is a joke about the 14th Doctor's browser history. That's just what I wanted to think of over Christmas, the Doctor looking at adult content which was followed up by the Dalek getting naked for the Doctor comment. If I didn't know any better, I'd say Moffat has some serious issues he needs to deal with. And finally for the bad, Clara's cameo. Although it made sense, I didn't like it. The same goes for Nardole. So after all that negativity, let's end on a positive note with what I thought was good about the episode. Starting off with all the nostalgic nods regarding the soundtrack. They were perfect. And Murray Gold doesn't get enough credit. I smiled when the First Doctor called the TARDIS his ship. The plot point of, if the First Doctor chooses to die rather than regenerate, the universe ends. It was only mentioned once at the beginning of the episode, but it stuck with me. When the captain realises there's going to be another world war, it's quite a sad scene, as we find out later on about his children, and obviously he's worrying about whether or not they'll be involved in it. The first Doctor not knowing what a sonic screwdriver is. The time vortex being similar to some classic Who intro sequences. Whilst I was initially resistant to Bill coming back, the reason made sense as it advanced the plot. I like seeing Rusty again, as it's nice to know there's a good Dalek doing the work the Doctor would like to do, but can't because of his morals. Then there was the revelation of the Captain being a left bridge steward. Yes, it was obvious, but sometimes the obvious choice is the right choice. Although slight problem, with previous multiple Doctor episodes, it's only the most recent Doctor that retains the memories of their joint adventure. So asking the first Doctor to look out for the Lethbridge Stewarts makes very little sense. Then there were the scenes of Christmas Day on the battlefields of World War I. It was a nice historical touch which fitted perfectly into the rest of the episode. And despite all my fears of a female Doctor, the debut of Jodie Whittaker was handled very well and it's eased some of my anxieties. And finally for the good, the performances of everyone involved, especially David Bradley.